Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today we're going to be working with these pine cones and these are just pine cones that I picked up in the wood the other day when I was walking the dog and they make great decorations or standalone decorations or you can put them into castings. Before I start with a pine cone though, I always give it a good clean up and as you'll see, this is quite clear. So I go over it with a, with a paintbrush, a stiff brush and I give it a really good clean to get rid of all the bits that are hanging around in there that you don't need that are loose. That's just where the seeds are that haven't actually come out. And if you want to, you could just take these back to the wood and chuck them where you found them. And if they need to grow, they will grow. There we go. That one's there. It's clean. As you can see, quite a bit comes out. So I'll finish off these and then we'll come back. Quite a lot has come out of those. And you really don't want that to be in there when you're doing the resin part of it because it can get in the way or break off and spoil the look of it. So it doesn't take long, a few seconds, and you're nice and clean. See, I've got all my resin mixed up and I've put it into separate little shot glasses. Everything I use today, I will put in the links in the description. So all you have to do is click on those links and follow it and you can find what I'm using. Some of these I'm going to mix glitter and opaque pigment in, and some of these I'm not going to. So you can see the difference. When you're using opaque pigment you and you've only got a little bit of resin like this, you you don't need much of the pigment at all. So you only want to pop a little bit in. And I've just stirred that, and literally I'm just going to use what's left on the stick to give it a bit of colour, allowing it to be still translucent and have a nice colour. So this is the blue one and I know it's blue because it says blue on all my lids. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to pop some glitter in it and now it's going to be quite nice and glittery. And the other thing that you can do is put them in the pine cones. This is one I've done previously and I used a little bit of white acrylic paint in the resin before I mixed it up and then I painted it on. And what I'm going to do is I am going to do something with this on top of that. So you will be able to see that one separately as well. But that's all nice and cured. So once you've got all that mixed up, what you need to use is an old paintbrush or a cheap paintbrush. So I have quite a lot of old and cheap paintbrushes around that I use for my resin because it will destroy the paintbrush. So make sure that your glitter is mixed in there nicely. Now I'm working on a silicon mat and it's important if you want to get this effect to work on a silicon mat and I've got it the shiny side up and then all you need to do is pop your paintbrush into your resin like this and then paint your resin onto and this is why it's really important to clean these pine cones out to start with and then you paint your resin onto the pine cone. And I like to paint in all around. I like to get into all the nooks and crannies, both underneath and on the top. And make sure that you try and go round in a methodical way as well. Because that way you won't miss any. And then when you get to the bottom, I like to give the bottom a really good going over. Making sure there's plenty on there as well. I'm pushing it through all the bits. If there's any that I see that I've not, not got enough glitter on, then I will just go over those and dob the glitter on it. Like so from the bottom. And the reason we need a silicon mat is because we're going to leave this on the silicon mat like so for it to cure. So it cures standing upright. This is the white one that I'd already done with using some white acrylic paint in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this using some white glitter. And this won't need as much because it's already had one coat of resin on it so it it's already clean and it's nice and clear but this what this should do is it once it's dry it will just give it a bit of a twinkle sparkle 
And if you feel that, actually, do you know what? I'd like a bit more glitter on that. All you've got to do is take your little tub and just drop some glitter on it gently all over it like this. And you could do this just with the clear resin and not bother to put the, re the glitter in the resin. But I like to put the glitter in the resin if I'm using a pigment. I'll also show you how you can attach a hook or something to the back of these if you want to attach them to a wreath that you're going to be using or another form of decoration. What I'll do is I'll come back when they're all done and I'll show you what they look like before they're cured. These have now been coated. This one here I've done in both pink and gold glitter because I wanted to see whether that would come off okay. So we'll let these dry for 24 hours, then I'll come back and show you exactly how you can attach hooks or what you can use these for. These have all cured now, and the great thing about it is, as we put them on a silicon mat, they will just pull up. And as you can see, where the runoff is, it's created quite a flat bottom, which is absolutely perfect. That's why I want them on the silicon mat. And the easiest way to tidy that up is just to go round it with a pair of scissors while it's still flexible. This has been curing for about 18 hours. So there we go. So if let me move those out of the way. As you'll see, that will now stand up in that position. That one will stand up in that position. This one dried, because it was on the slant anyway, it did dry on the slant. There we go. So they're nice and finished. And what I will use these for is I will either use them and put them as decorations on a table. I'm not sure if the actual camera is picking up how just beautiful and sparkly they are and how nicely they've come out. And that's the one I did that was pink and gold. That's the blue one. And you can see really quite well into inside where you push the actual resin and the colour, how nicely it does pick it up. The other thing that I was going to show you is what you can do is, and I'm going to use this one as an example for this, what you can do is you can put a hook in them so that you can hang them up or you can add them to a wreath. And all you have to do to put a hook in them is just to drill a little hole. Now I'm going to use my Dremel so if you don't have a Dremel, what you could do is you could use a handheld little drill, if you've got one of those, similar to this. Or you can use a Dremel or a normal drill. Now I'm going to put some quite large hooks in these, which is this size, because I'm probably going to put this one on a wreath or something or hang it from somewhere. So I'm going to put a larger one in it. And I can still close these up with a pair of pliers if I want to. So all you have to do is get a bit that is small enough to drill a counter hole. So I'm going to drill a counter hole into there. I'm going to take the larger hook and I'm just going to screw it in there. And because you've drilled a counter hole, it won't split the cone and also it will enable it to go in a lot easier than if you're trying to hand drill it, hand screw it in. There we go. So that one's all done. And I can hang that, I can hook that onto something like that, or I can wire it onto something using that little hook. And if I want that little hook to be closed, then all I have to do is take a pair of pliers and close that. Let's see if I've got a pair. This isn't the best pair to do it with, but you can use these. So there we go. And I've just closed that hook up now. So it's a complete loop. And I can have that hanging from something like that and it will glitter in the light. I love these. They're really simple. They don't cost much to make. I caught, got all these pine cones just walking through the woods and they've come out really, really lovely. I think they make great little decorations. And what you can do is you can either cast these or use them as decorations and you can do quite a lot with them. You could even put cards in them as name placeholders around the table and things like that, I think. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you like the, how these have come out, nice and simple like this. 
Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and the like button for all my other projects so you don't miss out. But there's a link where you can just buy me a coffee just as a, you know, thank you for everything. It really does help and I really do appreciate it. So thank you very much. Take good care of yourself. Check out the video that's coming up next. See you soon. Bye.